Hello everyone. Welcome to the MOOC course on data structures. I am Dr. K. Aruldeepa, working as assistant professor in the department of information science and technology, College of Engineering, Gindi, Anna University, Chennai. The course data structure is offered by Anna University, which is a four credit course. The duration of the course is 12 weeks. The evaluation process consists of two phases. 30 percent is given for the continuous evaluation which includes MCQs, quizzes and assignments. The remaining 70 percent is for your end term proctored examination. The course is very important to all the students who belongs to the stream of computer science like diploma in computer science, BSc computer science, BCA, MCA, BE computer science and engineering, BTEC information technology and whoever who wants to learn how the data are being dealt with computers. So, to everyone who wants to know about data, data structures is very important. What do you mean by data actually? So, data is nothing but the information. You can say information as data. Any processable information can be considered as data. Any raw data can be considered as information. So, both are actually the same, but when your information is ready for processing, you call that as data. Here, you must know how to store the data in the memory. Can we store the data? Can we throw the data into the memory wherever the space is available? Is it possible? You think of the situation of a library. What is a library? It is a place where a, a huge amount of book, a collection of books will be there in the library. Is it possible? Can we call a building where the books are just dumped there? Can we call that as a library? Is it possible for the librarian to give you the book that you want to, that you prefer, that you opt for? Is it possible for the librarian to give the book? No, it is not possible, right? If the librarian has a space where the books are well organized, then only he can easily retrieve the book and he can easily store the book back. So, all that is possible only when he follows a procedure, he follows a organization methodology. Same case with the data structures also. If you want to store information, store data into the memory, you need to follow a methodology. The data need to be organized in a structured manner. So, that is what exactly you learn in the subject data structures. There are two types of data structures actually. One is linear data structure, other one is non-linear data structure. Linear data structure are examples you can say like list, linked list, stack and queues. As non-linear data structure, you will learn about trees, graphs, etc. And also apart from the data structure, you will learn about various searching and sorting algorithms. How to search for an item in the memory, search for a particular data from the memory. How to sort the element in any order in uh, for example if, if your data is collection of names so in alphabetical order if it is in the alphabetical order it will be convenient for us to search for a particular item so how to sort so number of algorithms exist for searching and sorting and we will also learn about how to analyze the algorithm Analyzation will be done in terms of time complexity and space complexity. All those informations you will get to know during the course. At the end of the course, you will learn about, you will be proficient in developing programs, implementing the data structures, various data structures and various data structures operations like creation, creation of a stack, creation of a queue, creation of a tree like that and how to insert a element into a data structure, how to remove an element from the data structure. So, all that can be done by your own. So, that is possible at the end of the course. And myself and our team is ready to help you to give any clarifications necessary in a proper, in a proper way. We are trying hard to uh, create an interactive environment. My best wishes to all the registrants. Hope. You all will gain what you expected. Happy learning. Thank you.